Thank you everyone for joining today's webinar. My name is Kalio Chinicki and I'm a Customer Success Associate at YCharts. Hosting our webinar today is my colleague Locke Olson, an Account Executive at YCharts. For today's webinar, we are going to be discussing how to analyze portfolios using our newest model portfolios feature. Throughout the webinar, we'll have a live Q&A via chat. You can enter questions in the questions section in the lower right-hand corner of the webinar. We will do our best to answer all questions in a Q&A session after Locke's demonstration. Any questions that are not answered during the Q&A session will be answered by your support contact. Please keep in mind that the content of this webinar is meant for educational purposes only and is not intended to be used as investment advice, nor is YCharts acting as an advising party regarding client funds in any way. Finally, as always, a recording of the webinar will be made available on the website and sent to all attendees. Now I'm going to pass it off to Locke to get us started. Thank you, Callie, and thank you, everyone, for joining us for our Model Portfolios webinar. We're obviously really excited to share this new functionality with you. This has been far and away the most requested new feature from our client base, and we're really excited that it's now live and we can show you how to use it and get it in your hands. I wanted to start off today just by kind of walking everyone through the process of actually building out one of these portfolios. So when you hover over the Tools drop-down within YCharts, you will now find the Model Portfolios button waiting there for you for our professional subscribers. From here, you're going to start unlocking your first portfolio by hitting Create New. And the process is very simple. All it requires is giving the portfolio a name. If you'd like to, you can plug in a description so that you can kind of remember how you were constructing it. You'll then go in and choose a benchmark. Again, you can just use the predictive search to pull in whatever benchmark fits your strategy. Tell the system how frequently you want to rebalance the portfolio and whether you want to start from the oldest security or the newest security, and then set an initial series level. From there, you'll start constructing the portfolio just by implementing uh, the ticker that you're looking for, plugging in the appropriate weight, so on and so forth until you then update and save down the portfolio. Really simple process from here. I think an important thing to keep in mind is some of the different functionality you can now apply this to. Not only can this be used to build out a portfolio representing maybe a client's holdings or one of your existing models, but also for looking at maybe creating your own blended benchmarks that will now live within the white chart system, or also just kind of testing, maybe you screen for 10 stocks and want to see what their performance would have looked like historically, you could pull those 10 stocks into a portfolio now and look at that historic performance. Now I'm going to go back to the main page where my portfolios are now stored in the cloud and saved for my account and take a look at what the quote page actually looks like for one of these portfolios. So I'm hopping into a balanced portfolio here and before we look at this quote, let's take a look at what constitutes this portfolio. So I have three different ETFs, and then also a mutual fund in here. You can see there are both fixed income and equity holdings. And as I jump back over this main quote page, you're going to see a number of different things. You're going to have a performance of the portfolio. You can toggle on and off here whether or not you want that benchmark comparison. And again, that's that benchmark that we selected when we first constructed the portfolio, which I can also find right over here. Down below the chart, you'll have a customizable key stats page. So I get to pick the eight metrics that are most important to me whenever I'm analyzing a portfolio. You can see things like year-to-date performance and fees on here, down to risk metrics like max drawdown or sharp. And again, this is customizable. So if I do want to go in and change one of these, I'll just click on customize and say, you know what, I don't necessarily need to know 10-year annualized returns, but what I do like to look at are three-year annualized returns. I can just use the predictive search there, plug in the metric that I'm looking for, and update this. And now whenever I come into my system and look at a model portfolio in Y charts, I'm going to have that same preferred key stats set. Below that, you'll find the top 10 holdings and how their weights break out in terms of the entire portfolio's makeup. And you can also look at periodic returns versus peers. Now, one of the coolest things about this new system is you can actually search for and pull up any of the portfolios or custom benchmarks that you've created within YCharts when you're working on this peer comparison. When I click into Edit Comparables, you'll see that I've actually pulled in a, a custom benchmark that I created, 
also pulled in another portfolio in here and an ETF model that I'm working off of. To change these is simple. I can remove any of these and just use the predictive search. And again, you can search right for those portfolios with the predictive search and Y charts. So I can say, hey, I want to add that benchmark comparison. I'm going to update it and it'll pull in that new peer group so I can look at their returns relative to one another. You'll also find news stories feeding through on the securities in your portfolio. And a big part over here on the right is the asset allocation and the risk, right? So for risk, you can toggle over to three, five, or 10 year metrics. And now I'm gonna navigate over to this allocations tab, which is gonna give me some more insight into the breakdown of portfolios allocations. Anything from simple asset allocation and geographical exposure, on down to my security exposures. On the left-hand side, you're looking at your equity-focused metrics, and on the right, you'll have your fixed income, right? So we're looking at anything from sector exposure and market capitalization to stock style, all the way on down to something like credit quality or bond sector exposure there on the right-hand side. The performance tab will take a little more in-depth look at that performance of the peer group that we were looking at earlier. Again, you can customize that group by editing comparables right up here. But this gives you a few different options in terms of how you like to visualize this set of data. One of the really unique, interesting new kind of pieces of functionality that this tool unlocks is the ability to pull these model portfolios, these custom securities, into other parts of the tool. One thing I can do is pull them now into a fundamental chart. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab of Y charts. And again, I can just use that predictive search to say, you know, hey, I was looking at that balanced portfolio. I start typing that in here, and I can actually pull in any of those model portfolios that I've created in my account. Maybe I want to do that to compare it to a benchmark. Right? So I can pull in either maybe the S&P 500 or maybe to really compare things, I want to compare it to one of those custom benchmarks that are a better representation of the securities in this portfolio. Right? So I pull in a 4060 benchmark and I can actually leverage that when I'm looking at that return comparison. Now, not only can you look at benchmark of performance, if I pull some of those other models off of here, I can actually compare it to maybe a balanced ETF model if I want to take a look at some different metrics beyond just pure returns. Maybe I want to leverage the ability within Y charts to visualize risk in these portfolios. So I can say, well, what is the rolling one-year alpha? And I'm going to get rid of this level metric here. And we'll visualize the alpha of this portfolio as well as the beta, right? So I'm going to throw a one-year beta on here in a new panel as well allowing me to actually visualize how these custom portfolios stack up in terms of their relative risk. Obviously, if you wanted to share this with a client, prospect, colleague, you can flip right into the presentation mode. You'll have that branded chart ready to go that you can save down right here. Another unique functionality that we've opened up here is the ability to pull these into the comp tables tool. This is especially powerful when I want to compare the underlying holdings and fundamentals of my portfolio to maybe a benchmark, a blended benchmark, or another portfolio. So first things first, I'll pull in that balanced webinar portfolio that we've been looking at here. And I'm also going to pull in maybe SPY to capture the S&P 500. And my 4060 ETF, or my 4060 benchmark, excuse me. And then open up a metric set that I have saved to my account, looking at simply the style box exposures of these holdings. And these are the equity style boxes. And now here I can easily compare, hey, how does my portfolio stack up compared to the S&P 500 and the benchmark that I created in terms of those different equity style boxes? And obviously, just with any other system in the Comptables tool, you can pivot easily to another set of data. So once I get the feel for that style exposure, maybe I now want to go in and look at how my sector exposures compare. 
This would apply to returns, it would apply to fees, all of that can be pulled down in the comp tables tool now when you're running this comparison. Another great workflow that has been popular from the get-go here is to look at changes made to a portfolio, in which case I would just replicate my same portfolio here, but change out maybe one holding, maybe a fund that I'm looking at implementing, and see how those changes impact um, my new portfolio. The final iteration of model portfolios comes in monitoring these on your dashboard. The easiest way to do this is to create a new watch list that mirrors the holdings of one of your portfolios. And you'll notice I have a new dashboard I've created up here titled Portfolios. And why don't we pull in um, a new portfolio? So I've got my aggressive, I've got my balance, it looks like I'm lacking a conservative portfolio. So I'm going to create a new watch list. And I'm going to make sure that that's a fund one. Just give it a title and add some ETFs to my model that I want to track moving forward. I'm going to add that to my dashboard so I can now monitor what those holdings are doing on a daily basis. And you'll also notice in this chart in the upper right hand corner here, I'm actually tracking the performance of two of the different model portfolios that I've created. And I can very easily go in and edit this chart to now add my conservative webinar model portfolio that's loaded into my account here. Save that down and now track that on an ongoing basis. Those are some of the main core use cases that we at YCharts see being implemented from day one for our clients. Now I want to pass it back over to Callie for some of the questions that have come in during the webinar. Thank you, Locke, for showing us all the ways that YCharts can help analyze portfolios with our newest feature. Before we jump into the Q&A, I do want to mention again that a recording of this webinar will be made available in the Support Topics section of YCharts in the next day or so, in just in case you want to review anything we went over or share it with your colleagues. Thank you to those who have submitted questions during the webinar. These are a few that really stood out to us and are very relevant to both new, years, new users and those who are already familiar with the platform. The first question that we had come through is, can you use model portfolios to create your own benchmark? Yes, you absolutely can. It's a great question. To do so is really easy. You would go to Tools and back to the Model Portfolios homepage and really just create a new model portfolio, we'll call it. But in this case, it is just a blended benchmark. Right, so you come in here and hit create new. And maybe you're creating, you know, a balanced 50-50 benchmark. So you give it the name, you can certainly give it a description here. And then you come in and say, maybe I want the S&P 500 to make up half of that benchmark. And then I want, you know, the, the US Ag to make up the other half of that. So I'll just pull in those two securities, blend the weights evenly, hit update and then save that down. And whenever I'm looking for that portfolio name or that custom benchmark, I can just use that blended benchmark right in the title here. Start typing in 50-50, and you'll see it pops up right there as my benchmark that I want to use. Wonderful. And then the second question that we have come through is, what are the maximum securities that you can have in one model portfolio? Sure. So as of right now, you can have up to 50 securities within one of these model portfolios. The third question we have is, are dividends reinvested into the model portfolio? Yes, and that's very important. So everything shown here is going to be using total return when we're looking at performance. And then the last question that we have time for today is, why does the quote page for model portfolios look differently than a stock quote page? Yeah, that's a great question. So another big improvement that we've been working on rolling out here is to revamp our website. And you'll start seeing that redesign play out in a few of the different tools that I looked through today. You might have noticed that comp tables have recently received an update, so those look a little bit different. What we're really trying to do is take a lot of feedback that we've gotten over the years and make this tool even more easy to use and intuitive than it has been historically. Thank you, Locke, for answering our questions, and thank you all today for attending the webinar, and please stay tuned for future webinars. We are really excited for this new model portfolio launch, 
And if you would like to find out more or any of, if any of your questions were not answered in today's uh, question chat, please reach out to your YCharts contact.